What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. So, the holidays are around the corner and if you're anything like me, I definitely have been craving some sweets, especially those holiday sweets. So today I wanted to bring to y'all a very popular pie recipe, of course. Today we're going to be making some Keto pumpkin pie. So let's get straight to the video. All right guys, so for today's ingredients for our keto pumpkin pie, today I am going to be using a pre-made pie crust. I thought this was so awesome. This is new, I got it from HB. I showed it to y'all in my shopping haul, if y'all seen that. And I thought it was just so awesome that they made a pecan pie crust. For the whole crust, it is only eight net carbs, so that is amazing. So today we're going to be using this. I think they just come in handy for over the holidays if you don't really have time to make your own crust. But if y'all do want to see a crust made from scratch, let me know in the comments down below and I would gladly do so to show y'all how to make one. But today we're going to be using this diamond pecan pie crust. Then for our filling, of course you're going to want a 15 ounce can of 100% pure pumpkin. Then you're going to want some heavy whipping cream. For our sugar replacement today, we're going to be using the swerve in the confectioner's kind. So this is a smooth one. Then you're going to want some pumpkin pie spice, some sea salt, two large eggs at room temperature. Then for our last ingredient, you're going to want some vanilla. All right guys, so since our pie crust is already made, we're just gonna simply make the pumpkin filling. So you're gonna want a mixing bowl. Then to your mixing bowl, you're gonna add the whole can, the 15 ounce can of your 100% pure pumpkin pre -aid. Then you're going to want to add in half a cup of your heavy whipping cream. Two large eggs at room temperature. Then for your confectioner swerve, you're going to add, want to add in two third cup. If you do use granular, it will come out grainy. One fourth teaspoon of our sea salt. Two teaspoons of your pumpkin pie spice. And one teaspoon of vanilla. Then you're going to want to simply just take out your hand mixer. I just hooked up my bowl to my dash mixer and I'm just going to blend it until it's well mixed together. And if you have to, make sure you scrape down your edges so you get all of the pumpkin around the edges. All right, and once you have it looking nice and smooth like this, we're just gonna start pouring our mixture into our crust. All right guys, so I have my pecan pie crust right here. All you do is take off the edges, take off the plastic, and you're going to leave it in the aluminum foil just like this. Now you're going to start simply pouring your pumpkin pie mixture right in the middle. Once you have all that delicious pumpkin pie mixture, you just wanna smooth it out and make sure there's no air bubbles. Just be careful not to break your crust. Just like this. Now I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna start preheating our oven. We're going to be preheating our oven to 325 degrees. Then we're going to pop that delicious keto pumpkin pie right into bake. Then once your oven is preheated, you're gonna pop your delicious pie in the oven to bake. You're going to bake your pie for 40 to 50 minutes until it's set but still jiggly in the center. It smells like pies in my house. All right guys, so once your pie is done baking, it should have a little bit of cracking around the edge. We're gonna take it off the oven. It should look like this. It should be nice and browned, a little bit of cracking around the edge. Now you wanna let it completely cool before you pop it in the fridge, patience. Once it's cooled down, you wanna pop your pie in the fridge. And if you do make this pie a day ahead of time, you can definitely leave it overnight to cool off. But since we are making it the same day, we are going to pop this in our fridge for 30 minutes to an hour to cool down. All right guys, and once it's cooled off, I cut into a slice. This is what it looks like. Now, of course, you can't have some pumpkin pie without some whipped cream, so you're just going to top it with some sugar-free whipped cream. And enjoy. All right guys, so you know we gotta give this keto pumpkin pie a try. My son already got a bite. I think he really enjoyed it because he wanted some more. Now I know that pumpkin pie is awesome, but I really wanted to try this pecan crust with it. If this is good, it will be 
so nice and just easier for some awesome pre-made crust throughout the holidays that are low in carbs and sugar and I just cannot wait. So we're gonna give this a try. Mm. Oh my God. This keto pumpkin pie is so good. I just love all the pumpkin spice with it. Now, if it was up to me, I'd probably put drown this thing in whipped cream. I absolutely love extra whipped cream, but this crust, this crust is a perfect mix. Like the pecans are a perfect mix with the pumpkin inside and it's just really good. So this is an awesome pre-made crust to enjoy throughout the holidays. Question of the day, what is your favorite holiday pie? Comment down below. All right guys, so that concludes today's video of our keto pumpkin pie. If y'all happen to give this recipe a try around the holidays, come back to this video, comment down below how y'all enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for awesome keto recipes and I'll see y'all in my next video.